problem on our hands. The problem that I'm not going to be able to fight in both vampire form and close range stealth. A problem that reads giant fucking vampire dragon. Now then, before you ask, no, these ladies have absolutely fucking nothing on them. There is a blind spot to this boss battle, though, which is why I have a bow on them. Right here, in this shadow, being that this is a soul realm where there is no sun at all, that shadow will be unmoving, and you can just sit there for an unlimited amount of time, become invisible to this damn dragon, and get as many cheap shots in as you damn well please. Same could be said with that bit of shadow right there, but... Ugh. This battle's a little bit hard enough as it is. First matter... First of this matter is waiting for this asshole to land. Don't worry, you don't need to run out there to get him to land. Eventually he will just land. Or he can just keep flying around and making me look like a fool. Fine. Hey, asshole. There we go. Now he sees me. Now I need to get into my spot. Just crouch down right here and wait. This dragon has a special ability of summoning undead. But, if you can manage to get hidden, it's not all that hard to actually... It's, it's not all that hard to actually kill it. Of course, then there's the matter of this fucking bitch who's just standing around luring enemies to me. I advise letting her stay outside. Or have her wait up at the door. And so close to being hit. There it goes. She'll do a lot of the work. This is mainly an advised way of killing this thing just based on whether or not you've got your 
Just based off of whether or not you've got your sneak stat at maxed yet. If you do not, then this will be generally useless. If you do, or if you do, then this will be generally useless. You can just sneak around and actually kill it. But if you do not, notice how I got three sneak attacks on that thing. Dealt quite a bit of damage. And what's her name will be way over there occupying the other enemies, which means you do not have to worry at all about them coming over here and noticing you. Unfortunately, this will take quite a while, considering how little damage bow and arrow will do to an enemy. But it is still, as I stated earlier, a definitely a good, good way of increasing your sneak stat. I'm still quite a ways off before being able to get something else in smithing. My one-handed coming. Not enough to get that. However, I am enough. I am enough, of course. I'm enough of a man to do whatever the hell I please. God damn it. There we go. Bladesman. Attack with a sword, 10% better chance of dealing critical. There's also this. Dual Fury. Let's see. Hack and slash, that's not what I'm looking for. Fighting stance, power attacks, here we go, that's what I was looking for. Power attacks now do 25% less stamina, which means I can sneak attack with a dagger more often. But yeah, as far as I know, nobody else has thought of this tactic, so I am pers I am putting my Rage Armor seal of this is mine on this, because I have watched people's Let's Plays, I've seen them do Dawn Guard, and I have not seen anybody do th what I'm doing here, where it guarantees that you will not be seen at all. It's also cheap, which probably explains why nobody ever figured it out, but, oh well, as I stated earlier, I don't give a shit about fucking cheap tactics. I mean, look at this. There. Problem solved. My dagger back out. There we go. Otherwise, I would be fighting it with my, uh, otherwise I would be sitting here fighting it with a heavy-duty weapon or in vampire form. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's not a fun fight. Not for me, anyways, considering I am a flimsy piece of paper. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. What the fuck are you doing? You remind... Uh, woman, you remind me of my sister's son. He likes to take turns, like, like, there's an ottoman in the living room. In order for my sister's son, who is only two right now, or will be two tomorrow, he will walk around the ottoman three times just to get to the kitchen. 
minutes, hours, years. I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll, and you can be on it. So it's time for us to get an Elder Scroll. Behold, an Elder Scroll of Blood. Now, what does an Elder Scroll do? Well, unless you use it in the right location... Oh yeah, by the way, I failed to mention earlier, but by killing, you can loot... You can loot three Black Soul Gems with Grand Souls in there. This is the highest level Black Soul Gem you can get. It is the most valuable Soul Gem you can get. And Lord knows, it is going to be great for enchanting. But more importantly, Elder Scrolls, which is actually a book. <laughs> you use an Elder Scroll? Ah, I'm lying. That's how it works. Unless you use it in the exact right spot that the game wants you to, that is all that will happen. All right, woman. Now that you, I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel. That increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. As much as it pains me to send you and Serona back alone, I can't take the risk. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. This is the only thing of value I have to the... Yet another cheesy movie cliche that I never understand. How the fuck is a wooden chair going to stop somebody from opening the door? Yeah, it acts as a minor form of a wedge, but it's a wooden chair holding back a wooden door. Wooden doors, I already know from experience, are not all that hard to kick down. I've had to bust my own door open. Then? Oh dear lord, don't tell me I gotta fight this thing again. Oh, it doesn't seem to be attacking me, and it does also seem to be looking directly at me. Maybe it just wants to talk. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quinari. Thought you were dead. First, not dead to exist in this form for eternity, trapped between Lars and Enoch, between life and death. Hmm. Didn't you try to kill me, bro? Hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. Okay, then why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin or Vanquisher in your tongue. I found you equally worthy of getting raped by me. Honor. My desire to speak with you was because you were just too stupid to look in the one place you never did. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Kind of favor. For countless years I've roamed the soul cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. 
Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. What, uh, what's stopping you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. How can I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my food. Huh. Just call your name in Tamriel. Really, is that it? Trivial in your Brilliant. Mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. How did you end up here? There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The dead are roamed to the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in events and ultimately fatal battles. Hmm. Was. But unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. Oh, you sought this the place, huh? The deal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched. That I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. Why do you call me this? In my language, the Quanaran is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Certain why. Perhaps one day it will become clear to both of us. Well, that's all that this guy has to say. And by talking to him, we gain a simple three word film Cursed Never Dying.
summon this dude. So yeah, we can summon we can summon this Broham to come fight by our side. I've never gotten it to work, but apparently this is what happens. So let's get the fuck out of here before I get sidetracked some more. There are a couple missed missions you can take here, like that horse that you saw maybe running by while I was traveling between the first and second keeper. Catching that horse is a side mission, or a uh, miscellaneous mission, but for now I'm just going to let it be. Also, you notice that I've been, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all may have noticed, Dragon Skull, that I've been wandering about, or while I was wandering about, I would look down and click on a fissure. Don't know what the fuck that does, I just find it entertaining. Maybe it gives you health or something, I don't know. So, we have obtained the scroll, or the Elder Scroll of Blood. There he is. Wondering how long it would take him. Calm down. Yeah, that Steed, this is the guy that I was talking about. I intentionally bypassed him, but... Looks like I completely forgot about it. <sighs> to get a waypoint marker for a miscellaneous mission, you have to go down to miscellaneous and actually choose it. This will give you a waypoint marker in most occasions, being that this is... Uh, yeah, this is why I don't do miscellaneous missions. Fuck your horse, I'm leaving. Although apparently there's an enemy over there waiting to attack. Fuck that guy too. I'm still leaving. Something else of note? Yeah, you can harvest these things. You can only harvest these things while you're in here. I do not know if you can return to this place. I can only assume that you can. God damn it. Give me a way out of here. There we go. I don't know if uh, you can or not. But, uh, yeah. It's food. That's about it. Same goes with those horns. You can only get the horns while you're in here as well. Ah, there we go. There's my exit. Going up. All in all, I do gotta say, even though it's a very brief time that we spend here, unless you run around just fucking about, all in all, this place is a pretty cool area. I generally actually like it a lot. And if I'm able to return to this area, I will. So, we have successfully made it back to Tamriel. Well, what the fuck do we do now, huh? We go get the Scroll of Dragons. Next time, viewers. Next time. As for right now, I've got some, uh... I've got a place to go to real quick, because I need to go over to Riften and increase my smithing skill some more. You can only increase... You can, the people who teach you things, you can only increase it five times per level. Next time I level up, I'll be going back there again to get another easy five levels. Maybe expensive as hell, eventually. But, at least, it makes it a little bit quicker on me. So, we'll see y'all next time, viewers. Okay. Apparently I was jumping. Anyways, yeah, I'll see y'all next time, viewers. Cheers.